Hey there, I'm Dr. K, and in today's episode, we're going to learn the rules of angles. So let's draw some angles. We'll start with a 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle looks like this. And we can denote it with a little square box inside the angle. So it's 90 degrees, and this is called a right angle. Now, if we have an angle that has smaller than 90 degrees inside, it looks something like this. And this is called an acute angle. Cute, huh? OK, so let's say that you have an angle that's bigger than 90 degrees. It's going to look something like that. And this is called an obtuse angle. Now, we're going to talk about complementary and supplementary angles. If you have a 90 degree angle that is split in half, let's say one side is 58 degrees, the other side is 32 degrees, but they add up to 90. These two angles right here are called complementary angles. And if you have a situation where you have a line, which is 180 degrees, that's made up of two angles, this is called a supplementary angle. OK, well, let's get a little bit more intimate. And we're going to talk about interior and exterior angles. Interior and exterior angles come up when you have two parallel lines that are intersected by another line that slices through both of them. In this case, the rules of geometry tell us that the lines are 180 degrees in all cases. And when they're split like that and the two lines are parallel, we know that these angles right here are equal and so are these angles. They all have the same measure. Let's say that measure can be 32 degrees. And the opposite angles, all of these right here, right here, here, and here, would have to add up with 32 degrees to equal 180. So they would all be 158 degrees. There you go. That's a little bit of information about angles. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.